Nigeria has had its fair share of diseases outbreaks in recent times, including the Ebola outbreak that claimed the lives of eight people in 2014. Since then, other similar outbreaks, like the Lhasa fever, meningitis and cholera, have ravaged various states across Nigeria. For instance, since the beginning of 2018, a total of 5,607 suspected cases of cholera have been reported from Adamawa, Anambra, Bauchi, Borno, Kanu, Nasarawa, Plateau and Zamfara State, resulting in several deaths. Somebody died of Lhasa fever? Parts of efforts to mitigate these outbreaks through effective risk communication strategies is the reason why the Nigeria Center for Disease Control and the United Nations Children's Fund is holding this workshop in Abuja. We need to work with the people that we are actually working for to work with us in advocating, in informing, in detecting infectious diseases. We have to go out to where the people are to bring them in, to inform them, educate them, win over hearts and minds. If we put more effort in um, communicating to the citizens and all those concerned of the risks that we face, then we are in a position to be able to alleviate the suffering and uh, some of the fatalities that we experience when we have disease outbreaks. While health experts are advocating the urgent need to strengthen risk communication with a view to reducing fatalities, they are also appealing to government to provide basic amenities for citizens. The purpose of risk communication is for everyone to actually is to be able to take informed decisions to mitigate the effects of the threat and take protective and preventive measures. To prevent cholera is not rocket science. We need water, we need sanitation, and those are not things we can provide from NCDC. Meningitis, Lhasa fever and cholera are some of the diseases outbreaks that Nigerians have continued to experience year in, year out. It is hoped that effective risk communication will help control these outbreaks going forward.